Hey guys, um, so today we're going to tackle another grade 9 GCSE Maths um, exam question. So this is another circle theorem proof. And this proof, um, or this circle theorem, it's the idea that this angle here, ACB, so this, this angle here, is a right angle. It's 90 degrees. And we have to prove this. Um, so these proofs, these proofs always follow a very typical pattern. So like, to, like the last one we did, to start with this one, we need to split this up into two isosceles triangles. And we know it's going to be isosceles because this fact here. So I'm going to join a line from the center to C. So from O to C, the center to C, I've joined this line up here. Now this, again, this is a radius because we went from the center to a point on the circumference here. And this is also a radius. And this is also a So we're told the distance AB is the diameter. So what that means is that this is a radius, this is a radius, and this is a radius. So what that gives me is isosceles triangles. This here, this triangle, is isosceles, and this triangle here is also isosceles. So using this fact now, we need to assign some values. So because we're doing a proof, we can't use generic values. We need to use an algebraic approach. So it doesn't matter what variables you give these two angles. Um, you can give them whatever you want, but I normally just give them, I'm going to give this one X and this one can be Y, but it doesn't matter which way you do it or what variables you use, that could have been Y, this could be X, it doesn't matter at all. So what I'm saying here is angle, I'm going to do it up here. So what we're saying is that COB, so this angle here, COB is Y and the angle COA is going to be x. So then are my two angles here. And what we also know is that x plus y must be 180 degrees, right? Because these are angles on a straight line. So this is 180 degrees. 180 degrees. So we know them two facts um, about the angles, and we know this property here. So from here now, if we know these are isosceles triangles, these are my base angles. That's base angle 1, base angle 2. So knowing that fact now, and that these are isosceles triangles, these angles, so this must be 180 minus x divided by 2. So angles, um, if I do them together, so that's going to be ACO. Uh, so about that, guys, um, someone walked in. So this is going to be the angle A, in fact, sorry, OAC. OAC. And they're going to be 180 minus X divided by 2. So these are these two angles here. So that's going to be 180 minus X divided by 2. So I'm going to put it up here, 180 minus X divided by 2. So that's that one and that one there. And then similarly, these angles here, right? These are also base angles to the isosceles triangle. So instead of X, they're going to be Y. So, then we, so let's do these angles as well. So what are them angles going to be? So it's going to be OBC. OBC. And it will be OCB. O, C, B. So they're going to be 180 minus Y. Minus Y divided by 2. So now we need to work out this angle here, right? This is the one that we're looking to show is 90 degrees. So it's angle A, C, B. So A, C, B is going to be this angle here plus this angle here. Because these are the two angles here. So if we add these up, what are we going to get? So if we do that, that's going to be 180 minus x divided by 2 plus 180 minus y divided by 2. So when we add these up, what we're going to get? So doing them separately, 180 divided by 2 is 90 minus x divided by 2. It's going to be minus x over 2. And then I'm going to do the same here, 180 divided by 2. So what I get is two lots of 90. So that's going to be 180, because that one's 90, that one's 90, so I don't think I get 180 anyway. And I'm going to get minus x over 2, minus x over 2, 
I'm going to get minus y over 2. So these are, this is this angle here now, right? But there's one little thing we can do with this. At the minute, this isn't 90 degrees, right? We can, we can agree on that. But using this fact here, what I can say is that x over 2 plus y over 2, so if I divide this side by 2, what that will give me is if I divide this side by 2 as well, that will give me 180 divided by 2, so I'll get 90. So what's this important for? Well, notice this is kind of similar to this. We've just got two minuses here. So how do I fix that? Well, what I can do is factor out the minus here. It's, it's a factor of minus 1. So what that actually gives me is 180 minus, and I'll put it in a bracket, x over 2 plus y over 2. And we know this is plus y over 2 because if you were to times it through by minus 1, you get your minus y over 2. So what that gives me now is 180 minus, and then this bracket here. Well, this bracket is 90 degrees. That's what we've just worked out, right? So if that's 90 degrees, so I'm just going to change this to y so I can go underneath. What we know now is that this is 180 minus this bracket, which is 90. So 180 minus 90, which gives me 90 degrees. And we've proven that the angle ACB is 90 degrees, which is equal to ACB. And there we go. That's the proof complete.